You hear that? To some people, that sound might not mean much, but to us sales professionals, that's the sound of grit. That's the sound of resilience. That's the sound of our next opportunity. Feet pounding the pavement. What a beautiful sound. I know to most people it seems a little crazy, but there's nothing quite like the peace of 4.30 a.m. No one's calling, no one's emailing, no one's really even awake. So that's why I use this time to hit the gym, because what I found in my short 28 years on this earth is that if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone else. Your family, your friends, your customers, no one. So that's why I use this time to be selfish. It's the most calm 90 minutes of my day, because I know promptly at 6 a.m., it's time to start getting ready for the chaos. Now look, I was an accountant for the first four years of my career and I realized transitioning from accounting to sales is kind of unheard of but that's a topic for another video and I know all of the stereotypes about working in sales we come in late we quit early we work 30 hours a week and we're at the bar by noon on Friday and I'm sure there's some sales reps out there that follow that similar schedule but those aren't the ones that last and I learned quickly that the top performers the president's club achievers the winners they get in early they hit the phones hard they pound the pavement they they run appointments all day and when they get home they start prepping to do it all again tomorrow and speaking for myself I'm not here to be an average performer I'm here to win so I'm out the door by 6.30 and then it's off to the races. What I love about working in sales is how fast everything moves. We really do operate at a million miles an hour, it seems like. I'm either on the phone, rushing from appointment to appointment, answering emails, strategizing, quoting, prospecting, working with my team. The list goes on and on. From the time the day starts until the time I go to bed, it can just be mayhem. And I love that. I also love that to be successful in sales, you don't need any kind of special skills. You don't need to be the smartest or have the most technical background. You just need to be be disciplined and put in the work and that's what really attracted me to this career I'll be honest with you guys I never thought this position would be as challenging and as much work as it is I know from an outsider's perspective it's like dude you get to take people to lunch make your own schedule take calls from coffee shops be out of the office all day and yeah that's all great but when no one's answering your calls and deals aren't landing as quickly as you want them to it can be pretty stressful I'll say working in sales has given me the lowest of the lows of my career but without a doubt it's also given me the highest of the highest the feeling that you get when you walk out of a meeting with a signature for a product or a service that you know is going to enhance your customer's business, it just doesn't get any better than that. And that's the thing about selling. It wouldn't be gratifying if you didn't truly believe in what you were offering. And by the way, if you guys didn't know, you can always save 15% using Travis at pscience.com link in description. So while salespeople might be labeled as bad or greedy or deceiving or whatever adjective you want to use, at the end of the day, true sales professionals are just looking to solve problems. Whether you like it or not, businesses don't run without sales teams on the ground, calling customers, knocking on doors, dropping off cards. That's just how the world works, man. And trust me, I don't want to be the guy that everyone dreads seeing walk in the door. I don't want to intrude, annoy, or cause problems. That's never my intention. Inevitably, there are going to be people that want nothing to do with you, that are rude, that tell you to beat it, and that's okay. I've got a job to do just like they do. You have to be tough. You have to be okay with being told no. You have to be almost stupidly persistent, but I've always been more than happy to put in the work in order to achieve long-term results. To put that in perspective, I texted a girl every day for a year straight before I got her to hang out with me. A year! just to see me. And that ended up being the best decision I've ever made in my entire life. So all of this can be challenging. And in fact, working in sales is the hardest, most taxing and stressful job I've ever had. But it's so rewarding. It's fun. It's gratifying. And every day it's a new adventure. And then by the time I finally get home, five, six o'clock, it's time to log back into my computer, reply to more emails, paperwork, start drafting up deals I pitched that day. And most days I'll work on that through the night until it's time for bed. And then we do it all again the next day. So I know this life, it isn't for everyone, but from my perspective, this is what it's really like to work in sales.
What is up guys? I hope you all enjoyed the video. Big thank you to Robbie Boyd for filming and editing this entire thing. Probably the best video that is now on this channel. I'm going to leave his information linked down below. And I hope everyone watching right now leaves a comment on what they thought. Whether you work in sales, I would love to get your input. Or maybe you don't work in sales and this might have shifted your perspective on, on what it's like. Or maybe it just confirms what you already thought. I don't know. But please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave this video a like. And I look forward to talking to everybody in the next video.